Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're going to talk about something called GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, right? So it's a long word. Really, it means it's, it's really similar to acid reflux or, or heartburn, um, where the acid kind of comes up. And it's really a problem with the valve between the esophagus and the stomach. And the reason why people have this problem is because their pH in their stomach goes to alkaline. Now this is the opposite of what you've been told, but it's true and I can prove it. So normally in your stomach, you need a pH of one to three. That is extremely acid, okay? So as you go higher, things become more alkaline until you get to seven, which is neutral, and it keeps going higher. So anything that goes higher is alkaline. Anything that goes lower on the scale is acid, okay? So when the pH is one to three, everything is cool. You can digest. This valve closes very nicely at one to three, so it keeps the acid contained. But when this pH in the stomach starts rising and going more alkaline, like what happens with a lot of people that get older, especially in their 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s, you start losing your stomach acid. And it's no coincidence that a lot of older people have GERD or acid reflux, it's because of the age you lose your stomach acids. So what happens when you lose that, the valve doesn't close anymore. So what do people take? Antiacids. It's the exact thing that will make them feel better temporarily, but the next time they eat, it keeps going and keeps going and they get worse. Even if you look up the side effects of the medication for GERD, it, will, it, will, it actually causes um, more heartburn is one of the side effects, or even an ulcer, or even calcium soft tissue that builds up because you need the stomach acid very, very acidic to be able to absorb minerals and digest protein. So if you're eating food without a good, strong acid stomach, you get gas, indigestion, you have bloating, um, you actually have problems absorbing minerals, you become anemic. The, need, uh, the taste for meat goes down. You just can't digest, especially red meat. So um, the point is that if you want to get relief with this condition, I'm going to recommend you uh, try two things. Uh, you try betaine hydrochloride, uh, which is an acidifier. It's a natural thing you can get. And you would t take maybe, I don't know, three, four with a meal. Um, and or apple cider vinegar pills or apple cider vinegar. They have them in little pills, and you can take these with eating, right before you eat. So you might take two of these and two of these, boom, you start feeling better. And you're like, wow, why do I feel better? Because you're making this more acid and this is closing so it stops the acid from regurgitating back up into your esophagus. Very simple solution. Now the other thing I want to mention is that something called H. pylori. H. pylori is a microbe that invades the whole system when your pH goes alkaline. If you keep your acid, your stomach acid, you have more protection against H. pylori. Many people have H. pylori in their body, but it's inactive. It becomes activated when your pH goes higher and more alkaline. Interesting. So there's a, one of the purposes of having a strong acid in your stomach is to kill microbes from, that are in the food that you eat. So we need this acidifier to, just like a dog can eat raw meat or, you know, eat something on a, I don't know, on the ground, and their stomach is so acid, they can just dissolve any microbes, okay? So we want this uh, food to be digested fully at the stomach level to prevent GERD and basically keep the valve shut and nicely, um, you know, so you can actually digest. So. Basically apply this and uh, write, uh, write your comments below and hopefully you'll feel much better.